Hi, my name is Reese, and I've been looping for about six months now. Loop is a do-it-yourself closed loop algorithm. Please consult with your healthcare professionals before making any changes to your diabetes management. You take full responsibility for building and running the Loop app. Please note that Loop is highly experimental and not FDA approved. This video is for you if you've heard about Loop but aren't exactly certain what it is or how it works. And if you have some understanding of basal rates, insulin sensitivity factor, and carbohydrate ratios. Today I'm going to be telling you guys what Loop is, how it works, what it looks like, what you'll need, and what to do if you need help. And you probably will need help. Loop is an iPhone app that works together with your CGM, pump, and radio link device to manage your insulin delivery by predicting blood glucose. Loop predicts your blood glucose by using carbs on board, insulin on board, current blood sugar, blood sugar momentum, and retrospective correction. The Loop app looks like this. There's a heads up display, charts, and a toolbar. It's easy to understand. The loop status icon can be green, yellow, or red. This is the blood glucose value. This is the basal rate, which is relative to the scheduled basal rate. This is the uh, b pump reservoir status. And this is the battery status for uh, Medtronics, but I have an Omnipod, so instead it's the Omnipod Pod Life. By tapping on the charts, you reveal more uh, detail about glucose, active insulin, insulin delivery, and carbohydrates. The toolbar located at the bottom of the screen <coughs> shows meals, pre-meal target, bolus, overrides, and settings. Let's do a simple three-step meal entry. First, tap the meal icon on the left side of the toolbar to reveal the add carb entry screen. Add the amount consumed, tap the food type, and tap continue. Who doesn't love ice cream? Let's put in 9 grams, tap the food type right there to reveal ice cream. Then it'll be a two hour absorption time. Then hit continue. And then now all you have to do is hit this and deliver. You may be wondering where can I get Loop? Well, you can't buy it or download it from the App Store, so you're going to have to build it. But you can learn more about how to build and operate Loop at Loop Docs and Loop and Learn starting Loop series. Loop is DIY, which means do it yourself, not do it alone. So what equipment will you need? Well, you'll need an iPhone or an iPod Touch, a continuous glucose monitor, an insulin pump, such as the Omnipod Eros, not Dash, or just an older Medtronic pump, and a radio link device, which communicates between the iPhone and the pump. This is an orange link, and this is a Riley link. You can also use an Emma link, but I don't have one of those on me today. To build Loop, you'll need an Apple developer license, which costs $99 per year as of now, a computer, preferably a MacBook or compatible PC with virtual Mac software, and to operate and monitor Loop, and to provide reporting for your endocrinologist, these free additional tools will be very helpful. Night Scout, to refine your settings and follow Loop remotely, and Tide Pool, to refine your settings. The DIY community provides a lot of support, such as Loop Docs at loopdocs.org, Loop and Learn at loopandlearn.org, Loop and Learn Facebook group, Loop and Learn YouTube channel, 
and the Looped Group Facebook group. Thank you for your attention and for the continued support of the Looping community. All of this information, including links and more, can be found in a beautiful slideshow in the link below.